being on the TV series journey for you? Well, it, I, I came as a, as a nominee a couple of years before, and um, I think that what I found so valuable is that it, it forces you to, to ha take a snapshot of uh, world, and uh, especially for me, European television, something that I wouldn't necessarily do. So to see such wonderful um, uh, dramas as uh, Gomorrah from Italy and B&B &B from Spain, and uh, the, there was a Danish drama which was fantastic as well. Um, I, and what, what I, is invaluable is to see the way that different countries do things slightly differently, tell stories in slightly different ways, very exciting ways. And so I've found it really a massive um, shot in the arm for, for me when I go back and get down to, to work myself, to have this injection of energy from around the world. You, you're both a writer and you're the head of the factual drama department at ITV. Yeah. Do you find being a writer, so much is made about story. We always say story is the most important thing. Is that what you look for when you're working in, uh, as the head of the drama department as well? Is it all about story for you? Yeah, it, it, it's, with, with, with me I tend to do stuff that's based on things that have happened. So there's a story there. What I'm trying to do is to interpret what happened. Um, but uh, I've, I, 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 yes, I, th I think that uh, of course, you know, the, the, what the story is the, is king, and um, uh, with with me, I t I've what I tend the way I tend to work is that I um, I'll settle on something that's that's happened and find it interesting, some event, but because lead times in drama are, are so long, I mean, it can be e easily be the quickest really from an idea to on air is maybe a year. You have to see whether that story is still relevant a couple of months later. The first flush of reading something and something firing off in your head, but is that is that story still relevant a couple of months later? And then secondly, you know, especially when I'm the kinds of things that I deal with, which are stories that have happened, is that I, I work on an iceberg theory. There's a, a little bit of the story that's poking out of the water, but there's so much. Is there needs to be a whole other layer to this story? that we don't know about and that's that's the thing that can be thrilling and fascinating is that true with the whole Danny Baker thing that you're working on now yes it is it's um uh, that that's it's the same I, I would apply exactly the same rigor in that process with with Danny's life story as I as I would with appropriate adult or with Philomena um, it's um, it's meticulous research it's just that at the end uh, the product well it's not just to do this, but we want it to make you laugh. So it's, um, I found that really, really interesting to, to work in, 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 in as it were, in, in factual drama, but to add that element of comedy to it has been really refreshing. And what do you watch? What's your favorite thing of the moment? What series do you like? Well, I, I was a big Breaking Bad junkie. Um, I, um, I also tend to watch, um, what have I seen recently? Um, I, well, I, I watch a lot of old films as well, is the other thing that I do. I watch a lot of stuff, um, you know, pieces that have been around 30, 40 years. Um, I like documentaries. Um, and I tend to keep abreast of, of new drama as well. Uh, sometimes I force myself, because it won't necessarily be my taste, but I think it's important that you see how things are changing. I mean, I recently um, was um, was lucky enough to be awarded a, a, a BAFTA at home for I've been in the industry 30 years now, and seeing some of my early stuff, it was not at all how I'd remembered it. Even the look of it, the way it had been shot, the you know the lighting 30 years ago, it's changed dramatically. So I think it is important that you reflect the world around you now.